want to get it out now to ABC's David Muir, anchor of World News Tonight, who is leading our coverage on the ground. David is in Miami. He's covering both the preparations and the evacuations. David, good morning to you. Dan, Paula, great to be with you this morning. And as you saw there from Rob, that slight westward shift overnight is really alarming officials here throughout the state of Florida, here in South Florida and in Miami. Uh, many parts uh, of this region, ghost towns, they are prepared. But now the big question are these cities up and down the western coast. As you heard Rob mention, Fort Myers, Naples, uh, Tampa, Sarasota, all could be in the path bearing the brunt of this hurricane. In fact, they could be on the worst side of the hurricane. And so I asked Governor Rick Scott just moments ago, is the western part of this state prepared? Governor Scott, thanks for joining us here this morning. I know it's a very busy morning. You have just a few hours left to get Floridians ready for this. I, I do want to ask about this slight westward shift of the track, which now means that cities like Naples, Fort Myers, Tampa could really take the brunt of this hurricane. How well prepared are you in the western part of your state? And what would you like to say to people who live in those cities this morning? Well, we've clearly um, put out evacuation notices. My goal is that everybody listen to them. Um, don't put your life at risk. I love my family. I'm sure you'll love yours. I don't want to lose my family. I wouldn't want you to lose yours either. So listen to the evacuation orders. We're, uh, we've got a lot of people in shelters now. We've got, uh, I think, over 250 shelters open. We do need nurses. Uh, we need 1,000 nurses, especially for our special needs shelter. Uh, let me give you the website. It's BPRCHD preparedness at flhealth.gov. We need a thousand nurses to help staff our special needs shelters. But I'm, my goal is everybody get to a shelter. If you're on the West Coast, you sort of have to be on the road and out there by noon at the latest. If not, get to a shelter as fast as possible. Evacuate as fast as you can. Uh, but David, I'll tell you what, this state's resilient, we're strong. You said if you live in the western part of the state to evacuate by noon, you put the call out there this morning for nurses. I know South Florida, the Keys are likely still to get hit uh, very hard. Uh, Miami, South Florida going to feel this. But I do want to ask about those cities along the west. They could be on the wrong side of this hurricane, as you know, Governor. Are you confident those regions are ready for this? Well, we were ready. We, we, um, but, you know, it's always it's going to keep changing. I, I just the big thing right now is we're going to do everything we can, but you got to do your job. Governor, I visited a shelter here in Miami uh, yesterday. It was already uh, full and we saw the aerials of the lines, people waiting to get into shelters throughout Florida. Are you confident there's there are enough safe spots for people to go? We're going to continue to open shelters as, as needed. I shut down all the uh, schools. Uh, starting Friday morning uh, through Monday, make sure we have uh, we have plenty of locations. We're going to work to make sure we have all the food, the water. Uh, we're still working on trying to get more fuel into the state. I uh, I, uh, I said we're not going to have to we're not going to collect certain taxes last night to see if we can get more fuel in the state. So we're going to keep working to do all these things. But you have got to do your job. You've got to prepare. So you cannot wait. This thing is hitting us now. You mentioned the fuel, trying to get more fuel into the state. We saw some of those cars. Families had to abandon their cars right on the highway in those traffic jams. Uh, are, are we going to see more fuel for the people now in the West who probably uh, saw this shift in track and are going to try to get out today? Well, I'm sure more people are going to try to get out. But 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 the bottom line is, if you're not if you're not on the road on the West Coast by noon, you're going to have a very difficult time getting out. And Governor, as you told me, this is a monster of a storm. It is wider than the state of Florida. People from the west to the east have to be prepared. It's, you know, David, it's, a, it's an unbelievable storm. It covers the entire state. But the big thing that's different in a lot of the storm is the unbelievable storm surge, possibly up to 12 feet of storm surge. This can cover your house. Do not think you can ride out this storm. Uh, if you know if you're in an area that's evacuate, that's supposed to evacuate, they're telling you to evacuate because they're worried. Especially a lot of it's because of the wind, but the truth is, a lot of it is because of storm surge. And, and on the west coast, 12 feet of potential storm surge—that's devastating. That you you cannot survive that. Governor Rick Scott with us this morning. Governor Scott, I know you've been trying to get the word out all week, and we do appreciate your time this morning. Stay safe. Thanks, David. And you heard the governor there. He does not want people here in Miami and in South Florida on the eastern side of that track to let their guard down. There will still be, according to this new track, significant hurricane force winds here. Also a major storm surge even on the east coast of Florida, all the way around the tip and then up the west coast. 
So everybody still has to be ready for this hurricane. And as you heard the governor tell me, for those people in the cities along the West Coast that could take direct hits from Irma, evacuate, but evacuate by noon today. Hurricane Irma now on her path to the mainland U.S. Irma ravaging the Caribbean. Heavy wind and rain barreling into Cuba overnight. And on some of the islands, the scope of the devastation is now emerging. Dutch and French forces arriving in St. Martin, discovering the beach paradise flattened. Cars thrown in all directions and buildings turned inside out. This morning, a race against time for more than 6 million Americans told to evacuate Florida, South Carolina, Georgia. It's, it's really scary. You just don't know what to expect. The preparations morphing usually bustling cities like Miami into ghost towns as officials now anticipate Irma slamming into Florida as a category four or five hurricane. This folks is the big one. A last minute sprint for those in the danger zone. Some boarding up to face out the hurricane at home. Others packing up and getting out. Pack your stuff and get up out of the house. The governor telling me why the storm is so worrisome. You can have five to 10 feet of storm surge. I mean, this can cover home. We didn't have that in Andrew. You know, that's why I'm telling people, if you're told to evacuate, evacuate. I'll do everything I can to help you get your house back and get your possessions back. I can't get your life back. Florida's highways nearly at a standstill. The traffic stretching for miles. Key West or I don't know where. We'll figure it out when we get up there. And a rush at the pump. Drivers waiting in line, some pulling up to stations emptied out. Even the ATMs running dry. The last flights have now taken off from the airports. Plastic covering some of the check-in stations, a stark contrast to Friday's mad dash to escape, a desired destination to anywhere, just not here. We spent hours trying to find flights, um, and it's just been awful. And for those still in Miami-Dade County, 43 shelters are now in place, with lines stretching for blocks. This morning, at least seven are already at capacity. We stopped by one of them, 1,300 people staying inside. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, muy bien. All seeking refuge here, and John Tisdale told me he still remembers Hurricane Andrew 25 years ago. You know, just top of the houses, knock the roof off the houses. So I'm you're not taking down. any chances? I'm not there. taking no. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.